Good morning, good afternoon, uh, everyone. Uh, I want to thank you all for getting on here uh, to learn. We're, we're very privileged to be able to have one of the the, uh, the corporate trustee uh, most one of the most important aspects of our entire platform is having a corporate trustee, and we are we are pleased to be able to have with us today uh, the chief wealth strategist at Trust Bank here in Arizona, um, Phil Hotchkiss. Phil, would you uh, do us a favor and say hi? Make sure we can hear you okay. Hello, and those are uh, very kind words, Carter. Glad to be with you. Thank you. Thank you. I very much appreciate that. Well, you know, um, it's interesting maybe to just go back a little bit of ways. You know, uh, Phil Hotchkiss, who has been, and, and, and I'll let you talk a little bit more on this in just a second, Phil, but, you know, Phil and I, we go back almost a decade and, and partnering and trying to really create opportunities with regards to client acquisition and client retention and you know phil and i we, we never lost connection and during that decade even though he did a, a few different things i was doing a few different things well whenever i formed csi financial group and because i've been laser focused on client acquisition and client retention processes and and opportunities for our clients who are independent financial advisors throughout the country you know it gave me the opportunity whenever Phil and I reconnected a few years ago and we started going down this path on bringing something to market that really has never existed uh, ever before. So with that being said, maybe Phil, if you don't mind, uh, I'm going to hand it over to you and I've got up on the screen right now. Uh, by the way, Phil is in California. It's actually Labor Day. So for the recording that we're doing today, Labor Day 2018 um and and introducing your corporate trustee that's going to be a uh, part of the entire what we call the advisor partner platform um phil has been kind enough while he's on vacation out in uh, sunny california to join us and so i've got up on the screen right now phil and i know that you're you're out and about and, and trying to spend some time with family and friends i appreciate you taking this time out with us today but i've got up trust bank solutions you know, uh, portfolio that, that you guys have created that you've shared with us to be able to share with our advisor partners. But if you don't mind, maybe just go back a little bit and, and give some of your history as someone who's been in the field and then how you ultimately came to be a very integral part of Trust Bank and, and how you have aligned with CSI Financial Group to assist in this client acquisition initiative. Absolutely. Yeah. And thank you. And, uh, so just so you know, it's it's a little overcast right now in California, so you're not taking up any of my beach time, Carter. So this is working out great. Um, Perfect. But but I I'll, I don't want to go back too far, but I I will just say um, because this is a uh, the audience is financial advisors that um, I I'll be dating myself, but I started out with IDS American Express back in 1986 and got my Series Seven license there and, and all those things. Um, which is now IDS American Express is now Ameriprise. So, so I can I can relate to most of your folks doing. I've been doing financial planning, insurance, and investments for what is that now? Thirty something years. Um, but, but I, I I mentioned that because um, you know like like many advisors start out in the world of financial services by getting a Series Seven or a Series Six or something like that, and that not knowing that this other fiduciary world exists. Because no one at those firms, particularly wirehouses, are going to tell you that, hey, there's another way to do this business. But as advisors grow in their roles and start learning more things, they do see that there is another side to the business. So I was fortunate enough to evolve in the in the brokerage world and then go on to running Schwab Private Client, which is basically having a registered investment advisor inside of Schwab. Uh, I was one of nine folks to run a private client office for Schwab in its infancy. And then I got recruited by a trust company, Harris Trust, and then recruited by another trust company, Northern Trust. And through that kind of, of career evolution, my thought process evolved. And I found that, and, this, and I don't know how far you want me to get into this, Carter, but, but I found that the referrals system that I created or that was coming to me as a result of where I was working changed dramatically from being a Series 7 broker to being on the trust and, and investment fiduciary side of things. And by that, I mean 
when I was um, uh, at, at a brokerage firm, let's say, even a Schwab, I was the one giving the attorneys all the referrals to get clients to their estate plans done. But as I moved over to the trust world, um, I became the one that was getting the referrals for our services for their clients. So, so that was kind of the epiphany for me and the, the light going on that, hey, I might really be onto something working in this side of the world, still doing, you know, trust work, still doing some investment work and all that, but, but having the kind of the tables turned, so to speak, in terms of these are professionals that need my services, or at least their clients need our services. And so how can, and so our mantra at Trust Bank has become, how do we help professionals help their clients? And I know the audience is financial advisors, but but uh, and not attorneys. But the the same mantra applies: is how do we help other investment professionals help their clients? And I can go on and on about what are the benefits of naming an independent professional corporate trustee. But I'll, I'll stop there for a second. But that hopefully that served as some sort of background for for my career evolution and the uh, kind of turning of the tables of helping other professionals help their clients, Carter. Yeah. No. Uh, and by the way, Phil, that that was absolutely perfect. And and thank you for you know giving some of that background. And you know, you and I we've had conversations you know multiple times. You know, not not only obviously are we a you know professional colleagues but we're also you know friends you know play golf together and things of that nature and we've had many conversations where man knowing what we know now when would we have gotten started and you know going down this route right right a lot sooner yeah a lot sooner i mean <laughs> as soon as we possibly could have so in any event yeah. um by being able to you know uh, strategically align with a, a trust company that and now i have up here on the screen Phil, the, the trust services that are tailored for advisors, but what we call and coin in the trust arena, advisor friendly. So this right. is something that advisors have never been able to tap into until, you know, we created this advisor partner platform with in conjunction with not only the estate planning side of things, but also the trust company and then having that regulated uh, corporate trustee for you know a state settlement and things of that nature. But if you don't mind, just talk talk on and touch on a little bit on why advisor friendly trust services are not only unique, but what you know separates you from probably a lot of those uh, trust companies that are currently out there touting their advisor friendly services. Yeah, and this is um, I'm glad this came up next because what I left out of the evolution was. Coming from you know uh, a Harris Trust or Northern Trust, two of the largest trust companies in the country, if not the world, um, what 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 we all did, why we why we kind of all broke off about six years ago and and and, and joined Trust Bank was uh, there is a prevalence at uh, most trust companies, I will say that unless you have millions and millions of dollars, tens of millions of dollars, one you can't access their services. Number two, they're not going to let independent advisors manage the assets of their of clients that have the Northern Trust or Harris Trust named in their documents, right? They want to manage the money. Uh, they want only certain kinds of assets. They want you know uh, certain dollar amounts of estates or net worth before they'll even consider having that person as a client. So the evolution for us was, hey, why can't we, you know? We, we have a, a, a spot in our heart for independent advisors. Why can't we help them just like we help attorneys help their clients? And so, one, number one, most uh, well-known, respected trust companies aren't going to have uh, a, a service just by how they're set up because they're usually with big banks um, that already manage a lot of client assets, and they don't want to give up control of those assets to independent advisors. Trust Bank is completely different. We, we will work with an advisor. And the advisor can be actually named in the documents, Carter, as the uh, uh, trust investment advisor. advisor. <laughs> trust investment advisors, thank you, uh, to manage the assets, and we'll do all the trust administration, settle the estate. And another differentiator for us is we can also serve as personal representative. Most trust companies will not serve as personal representative anymore. So if someone if by chance didn't have a trust or 
needed to go through probate, other trust companies will not serve as personal representatives. Um, but I, I'd, say the, I'd say the main difference between us and other companies doing the advisor-friendly business is we kind of turn back the clock with, with customer service and client experience. We don't have an 800 number. There is nowhere you're going to uh, have to look up and call a call center to try to get a hold of someone that can actually help you or, or one of your client's beneficiaries. They don't have to call up and explain their story five times. As we grow, we just continue to hire other professionals, other trust officers, and so forth to handle the, the, the client uh, uh, accounts and estates. So we, there is never this, this impersonal treatment of beneficiaries where they have to call an 800 number and probably talk to probably three, four, five people before they can get to someone that act, can actually help them. So hopefully I, I did that some justice, but uh, those are some of the, the major points for me in terms of our advisor-friendly platform versus maybe another company who doesn't even offer it or companies that do offer it. Well, and, and that's actually a perfect segue. What I've got up now is I got, you know, meet the team and you just got through talking about, um, ironically, how as you guys continue to grow and you, you know, the reasons why we are philosophically aligned, CSI Financial Group and Trust Bank is because we're both boutique in operation right we're not trying to be everything to everybody we're trying to be everything to some so i have up here meet the team and you and i were just discussing this a, a few days ago you just hired somebody new because of the growth that you guys have seen with not only the advisor partners that we've been bringing on that can be able to you know right. tap into a trust company throughout the entire country no matter if they're in you know st louis missouri or sacramento california or miami um, you know, Florida. So exactly. uh, touch on just a little bit. You just added somebody um, just recently. Can you can you talk about what what uh, their role is and why you felt you know the need to be able to bring them on? Yeah, well, and 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 I'm glad that came up next because we just hired uh, Lisa Sullivan from another trust company, and she had been there for 23 years, um, and really for all the same reasons that we all left the bigger trust companies that's why she left this larger trust company to join our firm is because they just kept removing her further and further away from the client and you know kind of uh handcuffing what she can do and can't do for clients um what business they would take what trust they would take etc and that just gets for people that have their heart in the right place their 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 main goal of why what purpose of why they're in this business in the first place is to help people and it becomes increasingly frustrating for folks like Lisa that are used to helping people um, as much as possible in a hands-on way and get that kind of taken away from them is really hard and then uh, ironically we actually have another trust officer starting um, tomorrow Tuesday so day after Labor Day so um, Things are going well, we're growing, but we are not going to have call centers. We're not going to have 800 numbers. It's all, you know, either in person, over the phone with the actual person that's doing the work for the client. Well, and to that point, that's a perfect segue. You know, the advisor partners that we work with, you know, they're in the relationship business. And that's why, you know, I just mentioned earlier, right. we're philosophically aligned because as, as an IMO, FMO in this space, we're trying to differentiate ourselves. Well, we are in the relationship business. We have relationships yep. with our clients who are independent financial advisors, insurance agents, producers that are out there throughout the country. Well, the, the right fit uh, client for us is someone who is in the relationship business. They're not transactional. They're transformational. Right, right. Right? They want to do the best thing possible for their clients. Well, now by tapping into our platform and our systems that we have here, and, and again, I've got up to your point, you, you've got all your, on the meet the team um, document that I have here on the screen currently, you know, you've got your personal phone numbers, direct phone numbers, right? So you're not getting yeah. an 800 number, press one for this and two for that. Right. Um, the right. point that, is that yeah. we're all in the relationship. And that's, if we're not, yeah. we're not and a fit. Yeah, and, and and I'll say, um, and and part of what you know the the preamble of of the background was that um, 
you know, I've, I've talked to a lot of financial advisors. Um, I've talked to them about the trust business and it's a great way to, how it's a great way to differentiate uh, oneself from the, from the rest of the financial advisor world is leading with trust services has been transformative for me and my business. Um, and, and I just, I just, I just so want that to be, you know, uh, uh, taking the heart with other advisors is, once you really start getting into the trust side of things and, and all the ancillary uh, components that come with talking about helping someone with their affairs when they can't do it anymore or they're not around anymore to do it, um, it really becomes a, a transformative, I have no other way to say it, it's just a transformative way at dealing in the financial services world that is very gratifying, but it's so important. Um, and and I just can't imagine. I I was talking to an advisor actually. The, uh, I had coffee with him the other day, and he runs a large planning group, has 400 plus advisors. Um, his father passed away um, August 11th, and his mom had named a large wire house as the successor trustee so that's who was named in the documents and i was talking about our you know group and how we do business and we don't have 800 numbers and he said you know it's funny you say that and that's when he told me his father passed away uh, recently and at this wire house they even when talking to the advisor at this wire house they told his mom to call the 800 number and that that you know for him to bring that up and say that at you know you know it impacted him you know it impacted his mother because it is such a personal emotional thing to deal with having to grieve and deal with someone's passing and then be told to call an 800 number to get some help in settling your affairs for a loved one um so that just kept that really just drove home for me that we are on the right path we're doing the right thing in the right way and if more and more advisors could just find a way to get that help for their clients that would keep them involved um keep it a personal humanizing experience and rehumanize this whole financial services world i i think you know the community at large would be better served the families would be better served and the advisor would be better served well, and, and to that point, that's really what we have tried to address here, right? We're, we're trying to assist in the client acquisition and client retention uh, aspects of financial planning. But we're also, at the end of the day, you know, you know, the one thing that's not mentioned, I was just having this conversation with, you know, our um our strategic partner with that that helps to incorporate our state planning side of things gary lofsgard and and i share with him i said you know the one thing that no one ever talks about when setting up your estate plan is the actual estate settlement because they're not taking you from beginning you know to the process to the very very end and that was in my education as i started going down this path and this journey about a year ago uh, that was the part that's missing in almost every quote unquote business model and that is so key to making sure that when you are in that, you know, painful emotional issue that's happened, demise, right? Family members, you've got to be able to have it be as efficient as possible for a state settlement. And we address every single one of those issues. And it's just something that ordinarily has never been, you know, talked about on the front end or even during the process. And, and our process has addressed all of those types of things so um and i appreciate you sharing that story phil and it's really important i think for those who are listening to this uh this w recorded webinar is for them to understand that these are things that are powerful that people out there the masses of people they need the types of services that you now can provide for them and and we have what we call our four pillars of success to that we've got the training the mentoring, the marketing, and the support. And it's the support that really is the foundational thing that everything rests 
rest upon all those different pillars. So um, with that, Phil, I'm not sure if there's a few other things that you want to, you know, discuss. I do want to kind of sort of circle back around on, you know, the whole saying, well, what's in it for me, right? We talked a lot about how this can differentiate advisors who tap into this program, just how unique that this is, just how one of a kind that it really is, whether I'm talking to somebody who's listening in Boise, Idaho, or, you know, uh, Cornelius, North Carolina, these, this is something that is one of a kind. Nothing else is out there like this with regards to being able to do complete actual planning for your clients. You want to touch on that just a little bit more. And then maybe what we can do is we can talk uh, more in depth about our generational holding trust and the trust investment advisor and how that is what we mean by client retention. Yeah. And, and I'll just, I'm, I'm chuckling to myself for a second because I, and this may not be, you know, the appropriate thing to, to bring up, but, uh, in this in this world age of robo advising and all that, right? Um, there was a headline uh, about Vanguard's robo uh, wins, you know, number one ranking by whoever did this, you know, ranking of robo advisors um, because 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 of the because of their human touch. So um, I, I guess I guess my overriding theme is is um, to your point about you know the relationship and 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 actually having a person to call, not just say call an 800 number, but hey, call Phil, call Greg, call Lisa, um, and, and you'll, your family will get the help you need, you know, if, if we're named in the document, if we're fortunate enough to be named in their documents. Um, but in, in this age of, I guess, you know, again, dehumanizing financial services, use ATMs, use the website, um, don't call us, don't come see us. I, I advisors have an opportunity to really differentiate themselves because they're already all, all the folks that are listening to this are already engaged with their clients. They have a relationship, but the one thing they didn't maybe have before is a process to help clients in this way. So every, everybody probably on this phone has a way to help clients with a, a investment solution an insurance solution, what have you, but not everyone in the past, as you well know, Carter, has had a way to help clients with estate planning. They, there was no process other than to send that client off to another professional, such as an attorney, to get that done for a client. So, so you know, you're transforming the world of of uh, estate planning and so forth for for advisors and clients through your system, and we're just a, a, a fortunate, uh, you know. Uh, partner because of our relationship for you know several years tens of years here um, that our worlds kind of came together because of the track you were on the 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 firm that 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 uh, you know we created with trust bank and now advisors can just tap into both of those worlds and help their clients in a very transformative way uh, you know what that was uh that was perfectly put you would you know you would almost think that we had you know, done this three or four or 500 times with how, you know, really? that's, I mean, seriously, that's, that's perfectly articulated. And this okay. is, you know, this is, a, this is a conversation that we, they're really actually having and recording this, you know, um, live, if you will. Right. So, right. Right. you know, that's, that is really important. And you really touched on some important things, but let me talk just real fast. And what I have up on the screen right now, Phil, as you know, is we've got what we call our CSI team roster. And I've got you up okay. here as the chief wealth strategist for Trust Bank. You know, everybody on here is an interactive PDF that we share with each one of our advisor partners once they, you know, register on our platform. Doesn't cost anything to register. And then we get you through the training and the mentoring, the marketing that we have created and developed to start the conversations that Phil just alluded to. Uh, but on here, you know, what uh, what I want everybody to see is that it's a team effort. Now, Phil, let's go back just a little bit um, after I get into the generational holding trust here real fast. I want to go back into your former life compared to your new life uh, with regards to a, a team approach. But the thing that's important for everybody to understand, when you help your clients and I talk about the client acquisition, that's what the, the, the estate planning hook, if you will, is all about. But the client retention is because you're going to be able to be named in the generation of holding trust. And when messaged properly, you'll be able to share with your clients on why it's so imperative and important to keep assets in trust. 
And when you're named the trust investment advisor, you get to continually manage those assets. And some of the stats I've heard anywhere between 66 to 94% of the time, when your clients pass away, those assets leave with them. They go to the next generation of people who already have their own financial advisor. There's been study after study after study on this, on how to try to bridge that gap. Well, let me share everybody uh, something that we have addressed and taken care of. You have the relationship with the clients right now. Our system enables you to keep those clients connected to you and the next generation, which gives you generational client retention control. So, um, Phil, anything about that you want to touch on or about just how that is that is really the, the paradigm shift that we're talking about here? Yeah, yeah no, you're spot on. The, uh, the statistics are staggering as to when, when one spouse passes, you know, the, of, of that spouse, the, the surviving spouse, uh, switching advisors is is uh, at least 75 percent of the time, uh, and, and and so by by actually you know being named in documents uh, as the advisor is, is such is such a powerful thing and and, and such a, a such a, a a needed role because you've been working with that client probably for 10, 15, 20 years. And just because they pass away, then everything is going to be lifted out and, go, and, and, and transferred to another company or advisor, which, which could be avoided quite easily by just having all the ducks in a row set up in the trust documents ahead of time. So it, it is, it, they, are, they are staggering figures as to how often advisors get changed upon a, spouse, a first spouse death. And then it's also staggering how sticky assets and relationships are when when a when when uh, a trust relationship with a trust company and an advisor is in place, you know that that those relationships go on as Carter said for years and and, and even generations. Well, and you know to that point also, Phil, um, it's it's really important for the educational process to teach the the relationship that they've got now, right? They've they've accumulated all this wealth over you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 years. They've got this relationship they've had for 10, 15, 20 years as you alluded to. The numbers are even more staggering when assets go outright distribution to the next generation who didn't actually earn it. They were just given it, so to speak, right? I think the number is right. like 70 per, and, and within 18 months, 70% of the time, the next generation, those assets are completely gone. And by the third generation, 90% of the assets are gone within 18 months if they get to the next, oh. the third generation. So yeah. again, this is what we're doing is we're helping the clients right now that you are currently working with. And you just touched on this, Phil, this gives you the differentiator that you've really been seeking. Um, and, and I think maybe that's a, unless you've got something else you want to touch on that, I was just going to talk about the team approach here. Right, no, no, it's perfect. Okay, um, so what I have up on the screen now is our, what we call our team roster. And this is whenever I, I share with all of our prospective and current advisor partners about our four pillars of success, you know, the, the training. Stacy Pearson is the E-State Plan Business Development Manager. She takes not only the advisor through the training, but also their clients through the training on how to, how to utilize the system that we've created. Uh, then the mentoring, you've got Scott Garcia up here, who's director of business development. He actually mentors and teaches the clients how to be able to message properly in the early stages so that they maintain those um, those relationships to and through, you know, retirement and from um, upon demise. Then we talk about the marketing. Melanie Johnson on here is director of creative marketing. She has created so many different customizable videos to start the message and uh and we have a couple of other crm drip marketing systems that you can be able to take what we call the already convinced clients and introduce them to this brand new value add once you do those first couple of steps to be able to introduce that and then the support and phil the support really is about this team approach this is a team now that advisors and now go back if you don't mind Whenever you're out there, you know, 
just going it alone, so to speak, being able to have, and you've got your trust bank team, right? That everybody gets to tap into. So really you take an advisor who has traditionally been out there and maybe he's got an assistant, a couple of admin staff. He, you know, he has a small office, you know, um, but the team approach that they now are able to tap into, talk about how important that is to be able to have them have access to this instantaneously. Yeah, so um, it, it, it's, it's amazing when, um, I'll, I'll liken it, I'll give an, an analogy. So if anyone's familiar with the Mayo Clinic and their, their approach, their approach is let's, let, let's look at a case with a bunch of different specialists of doctors from different, from different disciplines and say, what's, what is the solution? What is going on here? And how do we, how do we help this patient? Well, just like that, say, it's born out of the same approach as the Mayo Clinic is let's take different disciplines, certified financial planners, CPAs, attorneys that we have working, working in our firm, uh, you know, MBAs, you, you, CFAs, you name it. We all sit around and talk once a week about our client cases and review all of our clients on a monthly basis in, a, in our in our trust committee meetings. So the client ends up, and especially when there's a third party advisor involved, we really like that because then there's another specialty that is collaborating and coming up with a solution for a client or the family. And, and that is just invaluable to get all of those folks together talking about different things and seeing it from different points of view and it, it, it usually I would say 90% of the time ends up with a better solution for the client that then had had just been one person looking at a situation well so does that make sense no, no, that that's absolutely perfect and and that's the, again right going back to um, previously before you had all that I mean think about putting yourself in that position as someone who may be listening to this now for the very first time and putting yourself in their shoes, knowing what you know now, how game changing oh, yeah. is this? Oh, it's, uh, I, I just, I just don't see in, in, in this era, um, how, how, how can be done any differently. Um, and you know, given the amount of experience that just combined everyone has in their different disciplines that, uh, any any one person could kind of match that uh, uh, strategy or, 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 or way of way, way of approaching clients. Yeah. So um, so Phil, you know the overarching theme here. Correct me if I'm wrong. Is really about you know uh, collaboration and and a team approach. Yes. Those different disciplines that you talk about is exactly why. You know, I created the um, not alone, right? I went out and I found all of these different right. pieces that everybody is looking and hearing about right now. And I just, you know, um, went out and I connected the dots for everybody so that we can ultimately, you know, start with the end user in mind and try to make it as efficient for them, you know, soup to nuts, all in-house. Um, and, and then also to be able to bring to market something that can differentiate and separate those advisors out there that have been really seeking something. They knew there's, you know, they've heard this, uh, this myth about this silver bullet or the, the, the magic bullet. It's got to be out there somewhere. Well, right. folks, I just want to share with you, this is not me bloviating. This is not hyperbole. This is a field tested model that we have taken. We've taken everything that has been missing and lacking and addressed it in all of these multidisciplinary areas and this collaborative approach. So, um, you know, with that, Phil, look, I, I want to thank you for your time. I know that you're out there. Luckily, it's overcast, so you're not heading out to the beach. I know you want to try to maybe get to the golf course uh, eventually, but, you know, I've got up on the screen, you know, I, I help to sort of direct traffic, if you will. Um, you know, I'm the founder of CSI Financial Group. I've been not only in the independent distribution arena for 15 years, but I've also been out there for a couple of years, two and a half years, 
nowhere close to the advisors that are listening, but I know and I knew what was lacking and I knew what they needed. I That's why I created this entire thing. And, I, and it was my journey that I started going down that helped me to be able to bring all these things together. So uh, with that, Phil, I don't know if you have anything last that you want to be able to add before I let you go on your way. No, I just uh, I, I just want to congratulate you on all, all the all the work that you've done, all the success that you're having, and, and it's great to be a part of your team. Well, I appreciate that, Phil. Thank you very much. Um, if you guys want to reach back out to me, uh, you've got it on the screen here, Carter Wilcox and at CSI Financial Group. You can email me if you have some questions, Carter at CSIFG.com. Uh, you'll have you'll see here on the screen our company office 800 number or my cell phone number. That's I mean I'm I'm about you know relationships as well. You know you can text me 602-690-5952. I want to be able to be there for the right fit advisor who's trying to differentiate themselves out there in the communities that they serve to help these end users that desperately need this type of assistance. So. With that, I want to say thank you all for your time. I tried to keep it to about 30 minutes. I think we did, I think we did okay there, Phil. Um, yeah. So, uh, in any event, everybody have a great day, great evening, whatever the case may be. We will, as we mentioned, uh, be distributing out this recording to those who, who want to have a little bit more information. Call us here at the office, 888-316-6040. Um, ask for Carter Wilcoxon and or anybody on our staff that could be able to help you with this. So, Phil, thank you again, once again. Thank you. Safe travels out there, and uh, and we will see you again real soon. Bye. Thank you, everybody. Bye.